friends. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. With a name like Perkle. Let's keep this between you and me. And now straight up to the mayor's office to tell him. In fact, it seems like a lot of people hate him around here. Doesn't seem like a popular man. Hello, ma'am. The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Do it! Do it! Do it! Stop me! Oh, oh, hello. The mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town, like the sharks and the meteorite. Hey, are you the guy who's trying to reform the sharks? What are you doing? What the hell does that mean? Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo! Or is it like, whoa? <laughs> is he laughing like a Brit? <laughs> Bring us some rice. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Scram. I would make him a bobby, I suppose. Look, I told you so. Yeah, but you didn't stop me. The fucking British cop that does the weird noises that I don't understand stopped me. Not you, woman. Get off my shit. Go around the protester. Like, don't people normally have, like, signs when they protest or something? I don't know. It just seems like you're kind of half ass in this protest, buddy. Mom's really cooking now. Down home burgers. Okay. Let's going on over here? Say something funny. I'll listen. Titmouse. Mm, I can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watch the news. It's funnier than you. Okay. Look, it's not my fault I'm a silent protagonist, dude. Don't take that shit out on me. With your passive-aggressive BULLSHIT! Break the course of violence. Don't break the wind of change. Fresh breeze movement. I don't know how fresh it is if we're talking about breaking wind over here. Fox stuck around in the trash can... And there was just plain old garbage in the trash can. Okay, pop quiz, hotshot! A Beatles song, XX Extra Day. <laughs> Sounds like a porn parody. XX Extra Day. I had half the dick I used to have. I don't. I have no idea where to take that. I I got to the I got I like I got to the starting line with that one. And then I, and then I, like, froze up. Like, it's like the video I saw of a, uh, of a golfer once who spent, like, ten minutes, like, before he actually hit the ball. <laughs> and, um, that's what happened to me right there. Can you fill in the blanks? No? Me. A Beatles song, Notre Dame. Wrong! WRONG! Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. That's correct, I'm impressed. Oh god, taxi! It hit me. I got hit by a taxi this time. At least there's not, like, vehicles going down both sides of the road. I don't want to get into a meet Joe Black situation here. Brad Pitt's getting juggled by vehicles. That is... That is still... Still the best car accident scene in any movie. <laughs> he just gets hit by one. And he goes flying. And then the other one comes in and is like, BAM! It's like a fucking tennis volley over here. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave you because you might steal my shit. That's why I don't like fighting spiteful crows, because they steal your stuff. Ah, okay. So, reason that happened. I am high enough level that I don't have to fight those anymore because they have no chance of doing anything. So the game just automatically kills them and gives me the experience. Cool, huh? That's what I think, too. I think more RPGs should have a system like that. Although, um, I can see situations where it wouldn't be to your advantage, like, for instance, if you take another RPG, Pokemon. You would never want it to do that, because oftentimes you want to go back and catch those lower level Pokemon. So it's not it's not the best for everything. I get that, but I do think it is pretty cool. Treasure Hunter. This is Liar Exaggerate's house. All right, what do you got to tell me? Oh my God! Look at the bed. Are we gonna f Are you gonna rate me on that? Oh jeez. So, like, I thought I would at least be comfortable. Oh, God, okay. Let's get this over with. Also, why do you have a hole in your floor? I'm doing... I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Oh, my God! Ah! I can tell by the look on your face you don't want to hang out, do you? That's all right. After all, we're not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. With my big hairy penis. <laughs> oh god, guys, I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. Oh, 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 this is going to be terrible. I just fucking do it. Just, just fucking do it. Just fucking, just calm down the ladder. Okay, he's not naked yet. Oh god, he just ran off. And there's a shovel and a wheelbarrow. No problem here. Oh god. Oh god, he's taking me to right he's taking me to his rape dungeon. Oh god, why do I keep going forward? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Li Okay, he ran off again. Oh god. This is starting to be like a horror movie. Oh. Uh Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, there he goes again. Okay. Alright, come on, toughen up, Ness. Alright, toughen up. Toughen up. We can do this. If he tries to rape us, we just beat him off with the bat. <laughs> that was a poor choice of words. <laughs> that was a very poor choice of words. Oh god. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, Fox Buddy, I've found proof of a great treasure. A huge haul. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. It's in my pants. <laughs> Oh my god. It's amazing sometimes when you play through things that you enjoyed and treasured as a kid, what new themes will show up now that your mind has been corrupted and depraved by the wages of maturity and society. Because I never thought anything of that sort when I first played this. Of course not. I was like... I don't know if you guys heard any noise there. I had to itch my ear, but... I was like... Like 10 to 12? I don't remember. But... <clears throat> I played this, and I never once thought anything... I, I, well, as I explained before, I didn't even realize his name was Liar Exaggerate. I just thought it was Lier Exaggerate. Which, I guess, is supposed to be foreign... He does kind of look like... He does kind of look like an Italian dude to me or something. So, I guess that's why. But Anyway, I'm just delaying the inevitable here. I'm going to walk in there. He's going to be in a gimp suit with, like, his dick wagging in the air. 
And then he's going to be like, it's time for fun, Naz! <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Let's do this. Oh, it's just a cave. <sighs> I guess I misjudged you, Mr. Agarite. What's this? If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. The golden statue is glowing strangely. And you're just going to say the same thing. So, we'll give that a minute. Okay. Let's just go ahead and walk on out of here. And then we step in the rope snare trap. Ah, oh, shit. He was going to rape me after all. Bad end. Don't you fucking come at me, Crow. Alright. You stay over there. Oh god, dog! Jesus, that one legitimately scared me! I was like, whoa! That dog just jumped out from behind a tree! Ninja dog. Alright, I'm gonna walk on past you. Do I wanna go home? Yeah, let's go home. Mom! Yes, I'm back. Send me up to bed, please. Sweet. Okay, back at it. All right, Dad. Ninety nine dollars, interesting, and fifty six experience to level. No, Dad, I am not going to hit the hay for the night. While I'm sitting here scrolling through text, there is one thing I want to go ahead and ask you guys about. As explained at the beginning of Part 3, which this may or may not still be a part of, I am not timing it, it was explained that I had to basically go through and replay this part on a different file. When I did that, I set the text speed to medium, and I have since learned that there is no way to turn the text back to another speed once you start it. Once you start a campaign. A campaign. Once you start a new game. So, what that means is that I can't really switch it off of fast. So I'm going to have this medium game, and I'm going to have a fast game. And what I want to know from you guys is, which text speed do you like better? Do you like the medium, or do you like the fast? Go ahead and let me know in the comments, and that will determine, once I'm finished with the this section right here, which game I use to continue on through the rest of the game. Because one of them is the medium speed, one of them is the fast, so... I have to decide between those two. Okay, you... What do you sell, old man? Hello there! How may I help you? Can I get you anything? Cold remedy? Nope. I have no interest in that. Hi, come in, come in! What can I do for you today? Can I help you find something? T-ball bat, I need that. And I need a cheap bracelet. Okay, I should have enough for the... I have enough for one or the other. You don't want to buy anything from me? Oh, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> What does this guy do? Please come again. Okay. Hi, dog. Oof, oof. I'm Rafini the dog. 
I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Roof! Do you see the window showing hit points and psychic points at the bottom of the screen? When you go to a store that has equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you are allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the item's power is equal to or less than your current equipped item, the window looks normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. Oof. I thought you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. Hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. I was, like, just there, like, ten minutes ago. I'm sure she's fine. Alright, automatic teller machine. Please select the transaction. Uh, give me 28 for now. Oh. Alright, let's try that again. I am not talking to the ATM. I want to make a withdrawal. 28. Alright, now let's go buy the T-ball bat. Do you want to, like, equip it here? Sweet. I can buy your crack bat for nine dollars. Yes. Thanks a bunch. Anything else for me? Thanks a bunch. Okay, so, the reason why I'm not carrying all of my money with me is because if you do that, you will lose half your money each time you die. And... I don't anticipate dying, but... In the event that I do, I don't want to lose money and get screwed over. I had that happen to me in a game before, and it's never fun. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... Talk to the magic butterfly here. As I adjust my headset and make what I'm sure was plenty of noise. Sorry about that. Alright. Hotel Onet. $35 per night for a single room. Now, I never went in the hospital. I need to go do that before I continue on with the game. Hello, Bellhop. Our nightly rate is not cheap, but we have clean sheets and the rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand that this keeps us very busy. I have a tiny room with an ATM in it. I like it. It's got Moxie. Welcome to Hotel Annette. A one-night stay will cost you $35. Would you like to stay? No. See you next time. Hi, Dad. Uh, record, I guess. And... Continue. Well, good for you, old man. Mom, is that you, Fox? You called me back sooner than I thought. Well, some dude in the drugstore said I should, so why not? Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. You like the name? Escargo Express? <laughs> here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escar Ex Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Fox? Big bro! It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. Yeah, Mom told me. What can I do for you? Nothing. Come again. Click. Well, shit, sis. Damn. Also, point of order. If I'm her big brother, and I'm like 10, I'm like either 10 or 12, I can't work part-time legally as like a 12-year-old. At least I don't think so. Maybe I'm rem maybe I'm thinking of this improperly, but if I'm Big Brother, then she's like eleven to she's like eight to eleven, nine to eleven. Holy crap! That's like child that's that's child labor at that point. And we have some problems going on right now with this Cargo Express. Can you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum on me as I was passing by. 
You look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You'd better be careful. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me, threatening me, woman? Are you a shark? Huh? Are you a fem shark? Keep my eye on you. Interesting furniture that there's like a... I guess that's either a recliner or a love seat. I don't know. Anyway, we're done in the hotel. So... Did I talk to you? I did. Smiley Kid just tells me a rumor. Alright, hospital, let's do this. What the hell is that? Next to the old guy with the blue hair. Hello, and you are? Say, have you ever suffered from some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at the hospital? For example, being diamondized, where your head gets as hard as a diamond. Which head? <laughs> or mushroomized, where you have a mushroom on your head. Oh, I have a mushroom on my head. <laughs> you need to stop saying these so I can stop making these jokes. If you're ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting for your mushroom head. I'm just kidding. I would never give you my mushroom head, you creepy lady. In the lobby of hospitals all over the world, the person next to me is the great teacher of magic healing. You mean the the guy I used to think was a bear? Because he looked like a panda? <laughs> Except with, like, flesh-colored skin? Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. I don't believe it, because again, as I said, I thought you were a panda. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? Hmm, come back when necessary. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain about the hospital system? Yes. If a good friend of yours becomes unconscious, come to the hospital right away. As long as you have money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend completely recovered in no time. Besides being unconscious, whenever you don't feel so well, come and talk to a doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. It's an awful big assumption, don't you think? No! Yeah, well, I am actually pretty busy. You're just saying that. I heard that around here, our doctor is number one. <laughs> Why is that funny? Are you calling him like a piss? Are you making like a pee joke? Is that what this is? A pee joke? What are you doing right now? Are you giving him an, H are you giving him an HJ under the desk or something? Okay, you're definitely giving him, giving him an HJ under the desk. How's it going, Dr. Handjob? I can examine each one of you for twenty dollars. Or a hand job. No thanks. You really don't need any treatment? Alright. Kinda went to Indian there with him for a second. That's not racist or anything. When I came to visit my friend at this hospital, I somehow slipped and fell in the hallway. So now I'm staying in the hospital too. This could be the basis for a great tragic tearjerker. Well, maybe not. Oh, Grandma. Who let her out of her room? <laughs> Welcome to Onnet Hospital. I run the place. I gotcha! Sorry, I'm just a patient here. Well, then what the fu- why, why would I ever think you own the place, kid? You're stupid. That's just stupid. No, lady. Lady, fuck off. I don't want to talk to you. I want to check the sign. Tombstone blowout sale. We have a special discount for those who have passed on in this hospital. What would you like written on your tombstone? On at hospital 
surgery team. You know, it's almost okay to a point, and then you get to the point where it's the surgery team. So it's not like we're get, you know, we, people come to hospitals to die a lot. So we're going to try and make it a little easier for you by giving you a tombstone discount. But then you get to this point and you're like, oh, it's not because people are dying of natural causes. It's because they're dying of malpractice. I see. Well, isn't that nice? I was smashed by a mouse. What? You're here to visit my daughter? So you're the one who calls her in the middle of the night and talks to her for hours. Oh, it's not you. Then why did you come to this room? Because... It's the curse of the RPG! I have to go everywhere and talk to everyone! 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 Okay. Open soon. Mock pizza on that bridge. There's a few more areas I can explore here. Oh, God! I didn't think he was going to get open ground. The Yes Man Jr. Mm, that's not good. All right, got him. I got the weird skeleton hula hoop man. With possibly painted on glasses? Couldn't tell. That's weird, there's a robot back there. What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. So I can just go visit the big bad gang leader. Actually, I think I might be able to check this sign. Okay. Not the X button. Road to Tucson. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Well, it does tell me things, but nothing I didn't already know. I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Man, am I steeped. Don't even try talking to me. I'm gonna do it again. Man, my steam. Don't even try talking to me. Oh, oh, you're... Man, you're boring. I thought you were gonna say something else, man. Hello, um, Mr. Sunburn. The townspeople are in a state of confusion. At times like this, riots break out or people start acting wild. So we police are being ultra-cautious. And you don't say anything different. <laughs> 